Hey everyone, it's your girl Chioma. Welcome to Vibe with Chi, where you can vibe with me. If you're new to my channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. Pretty please hit that subscribe button so you can see more of me. So on today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys the pros and the cons of having short hair. Maybe it's just me, but lately I've been seeing a lot of people do their big chop. And I always, 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 always get questions about my um, short hair and how I maintain it, how I um, bleach it and get this color, um, the products that I use. And some people even ask me if their head shape is like good for short hair <laughs> sometimes. If you're tempted to cut your hair, please, pretty, pretty, please watch this video. Don't make the drastic decision to cut your hair because cutting your hair is definitely like a huge, it's, it's a huge decision and you don't want to regret your decision. I'll let you guys in on a little secret though. The pros definitely outweigh the cons, but I'm gonna let you be the judge of that. <laughs> I'm gonna let y'all be the judge of that. So let's jump in right into this video and yeah. All right, so before I start this video, I quickly want to put you guys on a skincare product that I've been using lately. This is the Detox Mask from Timmy Bland. For me personally, my skincare routine is very important to me, especially because I have short hair. My skin and my face is very visible, so I always make sure that my skin looks clear. And this product, um, it's a great addition to my skincare routine. And if you haven't checked out my skincare routine, y'all should definitely do that. I'm gonna link in the description box below. And I absolutely love this product. It's natural, vegan, it's non-GMO, it's certified cruelty-free. It helps my skin feel really, really soft. And if you guys are interested on getting a face mask as well, y'all should definitely um, check out Timmy Blends. They have a lot of other products for health and wellness and skincare. And you can use my discount code to get you money off. You know, your girl got you. So yeah, y'all should definitely go get you, especially if you're um, planning on cutting your hair. Your skincare gotta be A1, sis. So, Timmy Bland's Detox Mask, go get you one. So let's get into the tea of the tea, okay? I'm gonna be looking at my phone because I have all my notes. So let's go ahead and start off with the cons. Let's get the bad and the negative out the way. <laughs> okay, so with short hair, obviously there's not a lot of versatility. So if you really like doing different hairstyles to your natural hair, then short hair is definitely gonna be a challenge. So it's important that you consider that. The second con, you can't get braids, you can't get twists, you can't get locks unless you want to do wigs um, I mean and then again it depends on how short you cut your hair but if you're trying to go as low as me forget about braids forget about twists forget about locks forget about yeah just forget about all of them because maybe your hair is not gonna be able to grip onto nothing and that was one of my biggest things because when I cut my hair, I I really, 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 really miss getting braids. I, oh my goodness, I miss it so much. That was one of the biggest things for me because I love getting braids and the fact that my hair can't even grip to nothing is really, <laughs> it hurts, it really do. But I mean, it's whatever, I'm tender headed. So getting braids, if I'm not doing them, then I would be sitting in pain for a long time. So I mean, I you just kind of have to consider like the cons and the pros about you know giving up certain things when it comes to short hair. So yeah, I have to give up my braids and I miss them, but it's gonna be all right. The third con, when you cut your hair, it definitely takes a lot of self-confidence to pull off the short hair look. Because when you cut your hair, when you first cut your hair, it's a lot of getting used to and um, you might not like the way you look and you know it, it's, it's a lot of adjusting you know so you really have to be confident your self-confidence has to be it, it really has to be up there 
if you're if you don't have any self-confidence then you're gonna regret your decision and you're probably gonna end up wearing wigs every day the fourth con just like i said earlier when you cut your hair your skin your face is very visible which means the flaws on your face is very visible as well this might trigger your insecurity issues because for me personally it did um when i first cut my hair um i have these like blackheads on the side of my cheeks and i absolutely hate them and i know to some of you guys it's like oh that's not a big deal blah, blah, blah. but to me it is and when i cut my hair like i don't know i just felt like my face like the side of my face just looked weird <laughs> like i said it does get it takes some time to get you adjusted to how things look and how your face looks but you just gotta wear your hair out be confident with it and baby them flaws that you are insecure about you won't even think about them the fifth con if you plan on keeping a low cut like me like i don't plan on growing my hair out anytime soon i tried to to get braids but it just wasn't working out but if you do decide on keeping a low cut y'all it feels like i always need to get a haircut like like i just got a haircut a few days ago but every time like a little bit of hair starts growing out i'm like oh my gosh i need to get a haircut and this also depends on like how your hair looks like for me i have platinum hair so obviously when i get new growth you can see the new growth and i don't really like that contrast too much so i always feel like i need to get a haircut honestly getting a haircut is not really an issue for me because it's only what 20 dollars compared to like having to go buy um oh, a new wig or um get a new hairstyle so getting a haircut is is not that bad honestly that was it for the cons <laughs> I only have five cons if any of those cons are like a major thing for you then like i said you might want to consider decision on cutting your hair you might want to think about it before you grab them scissors and cut everything off but yeah that was the cons that was it now we're gonna go to the positive side the good side of having short hair because like i said there's a lot there's a lot of positive things about having short hair like for one, is there, there's no such thing as wash days when you have short hair, it's wash minute, <laughs> wash minutes. <laughs> because when I used to have thick hair, oh my gosh, I would spend the whole day washing my hair and detangling it and y'all, there's no such thing as wash days when it comes to short hair, you're in and out, it's quick, quick, a few minutes, you're done washing your hair and, and conditioning it. So that's like, one of like the best things about having short hair number two if you're like me and you like wearing wigs applying wigs it's so much easier you don't have to contour your hair down you don't have to i mean obviously you have to take care of your hair underneath the wigs but it's a lot of less maintenance you know what i mean so yeah when i put on my wigs i don't have i don't care too much about how thick my braids are under my wigs it's it's really easy putting on my wigs for me so that's another pro. Number three, having short hair is low maintenance. It doesn't take too much time. Styling your hair is easy. When I tell you guys styling your hair is easy, it's literally a few minutes, less than 10 minutes, probably five minutes. Like y'all, short hair is just it. Like if you don't have short hair, what are you doing? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Don't go and take them scissors and cut your hair off and then come back and blame me. <laughs> Number four your hair is easy to detangle when i used to have thick hair i was super tender headed like even when i did my hair i was so tender headed and so detangling my hair was such a huge problem for me because it hurt it hurt really bad but um with short hair obviously like like i don't even have to detangle my hair because my hair is already like detangle free <laughs> so i don't gotta worry about that i totally skipped number five i'm really really sorry but number five is that if you have short hair you're less likely to be tender-headed number six if you do decide to do the big chop because you're um trying to get rid of damaged ends then it's perfect because your hair is going to be a lot more healthier so yeah cutting your hair leads to healthier hair 
But if you're like me and want to bleach your hair and put chemicals in it, then it's going to be damaged. But the best thing about um, bleaching your hair while it's short is that you can always cut it off and start all over again. So, like I said, you got to got to weigh the pros and the cons. Um, number seven, short hair makes you look younger. Well, I mean, okay, but if you're older and you cut your hair, you look a lot younger when you, uh, when you cut all your hair off. But if you're like around my age or younger, so I'm 20. If you're, if you're a young person and you cut your hair, you look older. I don't know if that makes any sense. But if you understand what I mean, then you get it, you know? If you're older and you cut your hair, you look younger. But if you're younger, but if you're a young person and you cut your hair, you look older. I don't know if that's a con for some of you guys, but that's a pro for me because I have a baby face. So me cutting my hair makes me look my age. You know what I mean? So I, I like that. But I don't know, some of you guys may not wanna look younger or older or whatever. So that's for you to decide if that's a pro or a con, but to me, that's a pro. Number eight, like I said, with the whole skincare thing, when you have longer hair, you have dirt and oil that can cause acne and pimples and um, irritation on your skin. But once you cut your hair off, you don't have nothing touching your face. So you don't have oils, you don't have dirt touching your face from your hair, and that's, Again, if you decide to wear wigs or braids or stuff like that. But if you just wear your natural hair short, then it's really good for your skin because like I said, you don't have nothing touching your face and causing uh, irritation, acne, pimples, all that extra stuff. Number eight, number eight, sleeping. Sleeping feels a lot better when you bald headed. When I go to sleep, I put on my um, do-rag and yeah, go to sleep. I don't have to, because when I when I had longer hair, I would have to braid my hair and or twist it or just do something with it. That way when I wake up in the morning, it's not matted and all like, you know, crazy looking. And that just took so much time. Like that took a lot of time. And then plus when I went to sleep, I had to sleep in a certain way because of the twists and the braids under my bonnet. And y'all, I ain't gotta worry about that no more. All I do is put on my do-rag and go to sleep. Number 10, number 10, number 10, number 10. You can just get up and go. Well, not literally. <laughs> not literally get up and go, but when you get out of bed, you don't have to worry about how am I gonna style my hair today? But then again, like I said, that does depend on how short you decide to cut your hair. But if you decide to cut your hair as short as mine, I don't worry about what hairstyle I'm gonna do for that day. I just go. Unless I'm trying to put on a wig that day, I just go. Today, I was able to share with you guys five cons about short hair and 10 pros about short hair. So if you're still pondering about whether or not you wanna cut your hair, cut it. Okay, just just cut it. Just at the end of the day, your hair is gonna grow back. Your hair is gonna grow back, it's gonna grow back healthier, it's gonna grow back thicker. And if you decide that you wanna cut your hair and you don't like the way it looks, there's wigs, there's there's braids, there's 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 uh what you can call it, crochet twists, there's locks, there's you can even get head wraps and wrap your hair up. There's a lot of there's so much things you can do to your hair. If you do watch this video and decide, mm, short hair is not for me, that's totally fine, okay? That's, that's fine. But I will end this video by saying this. Whatever hairstyle you decide to do or if you decide to do the big chop or not, you have to bring your hair with confidence. You have to because at the end of the day, whatever hairstyle you decide to put on your head, if you, ain't, if you ain't walking around here with confidence, you're not gonna like it. You're not. So, yeah. <laughs> that is it for today's video. Um, let me know this, this blah, blah, blah. Let me know in the comments section below if this video was able to help you. And if you do decide to cut your hair, send me some pictures. Send me some pictures. 
um like i said i will link all my social media in the description box down below don't forget to check out timmy blends y'all don't forget to check them out i'll link the i'll link their website in the description box as well and i will link my discount code so y'all can get money off and yeah that is it for today's video um like subscribe comment down below watch my previous videos and i'll catch you guys on my next video bye